is a follow on from the last video, which is simply do what you want. Um, you probably notice there's a bit of a thing I do say quite regularly, it's up to you. And I want to stress that because a lot of stuff out there is actually focused on doing the opposite and trying to make you worried about making a decision or doing something or what other people think. But in reality, you should be doing the opposite to help them. Once people realize that you don't care um, or they're irrelevant, that's when it gets to the point that they are realizing you're no longer interested in what they have to say. And that's, that does bug a lot of people because they like to have that control. This is what trolling is about, for example. Um, so, for example, if you want to go to the Philippines, meet somebody new and whatever, just do it. It's none of their business. Um, you only have one life and you're living it. Or you're part of it. You know, if you're part of it, you're not living it. Live it. Enjoy it. You only have one. Get out there and do what you want to do. Um, same with going to Spain. We've got a few people that are talking about moving to Spain. If you're going to do it, do it. Set yourself up, set your goals, set what you need to do and how you're going to make it work and start working towards it today. Financially, it's the biggest hold, hold back for a lot of people. But in all honesty, whether it's the Philippines or Spain, there's still a lot of money to be made. Uh, and doing stuff online, there is money to be made, but it does take a bit of thinking. And I'll tell you now, you haven't moved yet. Put a bit of time and energy into learning how to do something and see if there's a small business in there. Some people sell on Amazon, some do eBay, some do YouTube videos, some do websites, some do SEO work for other companies, some do social media, some just do Facebook group selling. You name it, there is a lot of stuff out there that you haven't even looked at before. Um, but ultimately, you need to make the decision to make the change. Because while you're actually thinking, I can't afford this, or I'd love to, but I've got this to do, or I'd love to, because you're going to hold yourself back. As somebody said before, uh, they're a chartered surveyor. Chartered surveying work is in demand in the UK. And I would tell anybody not to work direct with any company. Go with the agencies. Somebody had this discussion when I was in Norfolk because the, the job I was actually in was only paying 24, 26,000 pounds. I actually earned 75,000 pounds there because the one thing I did do and I do with the contracts is I go when they're in a mess. I go when there's a lot of overtime. I go when the, I hit a contract hard. So I come in, they go, we've got to do a 37 half hour week or whatever, but we've got a backlog. Can you do the backlog? And it's like, yeah, pump that up to 70 hours a week. Do it for two, three months. Get things back on track. Get it all working. Then leave. And then get another contract in exactly the same state. All government organizations are the same because everybody works to the minimum for a fixed period of time a day. A lot of these places are burdened. Everywhere I've been has had at least six months backlog of work, which means when you go there, there's enough work to keep you busy for three months, full time um, and overtime. And that's how you can make a lot more money. And this is why somebody actually said, well, their job only pays 24, 25. Yeah, it does. But firstly, I'm not on the same pay scale. I'm paid on an hourly rate. But secondly, I'm doing twice as many hours in a week. So I'm on a higher rate doing twice as many hours. And as the saying goes, do the maths. Um, but then there's other things like your mileage allowance and other things that you can top up to make more money, which is why I do recommend having a look at consulting, um, getting in touch with places like Venn Group um, and going through LinkedIn, get your profile full of all the information, hunt down the right keywords, and you'll get them knocking at your door on a constant basis, offering you the work. And then you can dictate the fees. At the end of the day, I don't take any jobs that are paying me less than 55,000 a year plus overtime and plus a car. Um, if I have to use my own car, then there's premium things in there and nine times out of 10, the hotel and everything else is in there as well. But the point being is you can make it work. Rich dad, poor dad um, covered a very important point with people. 
is you got an educated man that's an academic and his belief system um, and then you've got a business person that pays a low rate on wages and the argument being is is the guy paying it too low and the answer to that is no why is he why is that because if people accept it then he's obviously paying the right amount and that's the reality if people are willing to work for that then that amount will stay there being a chartered surveyor you're in demand in the same way my surveying my asset management and everything else is in demand because there's only a limited resources of us available things like the Carillion collapse was a prime example of what happens when people have the ability to leave they do I was talking to several recruiters about this relating to the fact that they were expecting to get a pool of skilled people majority of them retired because they got paid off and it took them up to retirement anyway with a redundancy package so they just thought thank you very much had enough anyway sick of working for this bloody company and they just walked away so bear in mind that's what's happening with a lot of companies in the UK when they get rid of skilled staff a lot of time they don't return to work or if they do they're doing exactly what I do and you should do which is just consult short periods of time enough to get the the thing up and running leave and go to the next contract always finish your contract though always finish what you set out for you come in for a temporary period for three months do the three months and leave on a high note go out there with a clear desk everything's done and to the point they're offering you a job and you just simply say i would love to but i can't afford to take it on your normal rates but if you do need a consultant here's my business card feel free to get in touch anytime and walk away on to the next and that will continue right up until i hit pension age if i want right now i'm doing well on trading and other bits and pieces so i'm not really interested but from somebody that was asking me about the opportunities if you want to make good money that's the way to do it you just come in do the consultancy take the cash and leave and then move on to the next run up your expenses fuel expenses flight expenses everything but the advantage of if you can lock in the hotels you can get a place here in spain it's being paid off, you know, whether you've got a mortgage or a rental. It's going to be cheaper than it is for the UK. And ultimately, your cost of living is down. The quality of life is up. And you get the best of both worlds. Because if you're here in Spain, when there's a contract in Aberdeen or a contract in uh, Cornwall, it doesn't bother you. Because you go where the contract is because they're paying the hotel. Thanks for watching.